when I went to purchase it, they had four in. That's that's not the number four. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where I talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. As you can see from my background, my title, and my thumbnail, I have another coach video today. Hope that's fine! I know that a lot of you can come for the luxury luxury content, but I consider coach a very good contemporary designer brand, and I also think that it's a little luxury considering the quality of the goods. So I'm going to continue talking about coach once in a while too, and if that's not for you, that's fine. I want to make this channel about things that I like, make a community with people who are of the same mindset, so if you only want to watch the luxury luxury videos, that is a-okay. But for everybody else who's still here, I have a coach unboxing reveal and then a little bit of a chatty what do I do, please give me your opinion, help me out here video. As some of you may or may not have seen, I made a luxury and lifestyle wishlist video for 2021 a little while ago. I will link the video above and down below if you have yet to see it. And in that video, I mentioned two Coach pieces. I mentioned the Coach Cassie, which I did recently unbox on my channel, and also the Coach Troop 16. The Coach Troop 16 is a very, very tiny bag. 16 is the amount of centimeters it is across, and it is adorable. As one of my very favorite YouTubers, Cassie, might say, it has tiny bag energy. So I went to my local Coach boutique to purchase the Coach Cassie, and they still had the Coach Troop 16, and I still stared at it longingly and took it off the shelf and held it and tried it on and looked at it in the mirror, and it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so small. This is my head for reference. This is it on my shoulder. It is very little, very small. Can I use this? Do I have a purpose and function for this bag? I'm not sure. Please help me. So I'm going to just unpackage it now. When I went to the store, they had four in stock, including the one that was the display piece. And the essay was very, very lovely. She was the same one I purchased the Cassie from. She went to the back and got the most nice, most packaged one she could find. So appreciate that. I always do because I really do take care of my bags. I look for quality. I'm a bit of a nitpicker and I appreciate people humoring me. So take, take out some plastic. It's in the little foamy thing. A little bit of a dent here, but And here it is. Look at this tiny little thing. It is, it is so small. Like, I'm not excited. It is so little. Like, oh my gosh. So this is a Coach 1941 piece, not the Coach New York line. So it is the upper, upper echelon of Coach goods. It is in the smooth glove tan leather. So this is not a pebbled material. It is very smooth, which means that it is incredibly prone to scratches, which is slightly terrifying, but it is also beautiful like that. So I can't be too mad. It's got the brass accents. This is the little fancy, fancy hang tag. It's got the teeniest, tiniest little turn lock in the world. So turn lock and it just opens like that. So something nice about this turn lock is it is magnetic. So you just click it together and it sticks and then you can turn it, which is very convenient because otherwise you just trying to like fuss find the tiniest little hole and that would be very difficult. So I appreciate that there's a magnet so it's easier to do the turn lock up, etc. It's got these little loops here and here because there is a crossbody strap. And this crossbody strap is pretty thin, but a nice thing is that it's got this thicker bit for when it actually rests on your shoulder. So you don't have a strap that's one centimeter across, just digging into your shoulder that way. So that's kind of nice. And this thing does slide around so it's easier to place and it is adjustable too with the regular coach clip things that are on a lot of their pieces. So it comes with the Coach 1941 dust bag, which is not the silky kind of satin material. This is more of the linen, the thick dust bag, which is neat. There's the stuffing the coach care card, the really thick one that comes with the 1941 stuff. Um, 
Oh, the care instructions. I'm not sure what this is then. Something, two things. Mm. And then that's it. It's just a little tiny hole with this really pretty goldenrod lining. And there's that creed in the back. And it's so cute. It's so cute. I do like that because of the shape of the bag, it is, even though it's so small, it's surprisingly roomy. And I did test this in storage. Some of you may know I do have a Chanel walk, which only fits the Bare Essentials phone keys wallet. And this fits more than that, which, you know. So you just open it up and really quick, just a really quick what fits. So I have, I'm filming on a regular phone, but this is an iPhone 6S Plus, which is a ginormous piece. And if you put it in sideways, like it just fits in really, really nicely. Yeah, there you go. So if you put it in sideways, it just fits really nicely in the side of the bag. So there's that. Card holder in easy see that magnet working that's really nice and then this is my clay with a million and one keys so it's pretty full it's a little bit distorted you can tell and that goes in two and like there's a lot of room left so i can tissues here um hand cream hand sanitizer lip balm so, okay, so close it and then no distortions. That fits super easy. So that fits quite a lot in there, which that's plenty, you know, that that's a lot that fits in this thing. So I just want to really quick, so this is the Coach Troop 16, right? This is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette, just as a size reference here. Like this, this is very much a mini bag, okay? I actually, I wonder, the Louis Vuitton mini pochette probably would fit in here, actually. I'm going to just try that really quick. Let's take everything out. I'm going to just leave my phone in there just to see. Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Bam! And there's room to spare. So, okay, so it's got my phone. It's got the mini pochette. Wallet. Keys. Okay, so that is awesome. I did not expect the mini pochette to fit in there, but it does. If you want to put a mini pochette in this tiny, tiny thing, you can. I really like this thing. I don't know what I'd use it for. I mean, it fits all of my essentials, so I guess I could just use it. I It's a teeny, teeny, tiny little top handle. You cannot crook of the arm this. I happen to have slender-ish hands and a pretty thin wrist, so I can fit this around my wrist. But that's pretty much, like, it won't go any farther than that. It does have the crossbody strap, obviously, so you can wear crossbody. And it's so cute. It's so cute. I, I really like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I purchased it a little, like, it was on my wish list, so I knew that I really liked this bag, and I knew that I really wanted it. So obviously I purchased it, and wow, I'm really pleased with how much it fits. Like, it fits the mini pochette. That's super cool. Didn't expect that, but... But I don't know, uh, what, what do you guys think? I think it's a really pretty bag. I think it is gorgeous. It, it's a beautifully made bag. It really, really is. It's got feet on the bottom, which I like, and this cool crisscross pattern. And this is an extra strip of leather to reinforce it, which I also think is a nice touch. I just think it's gorgeous, and I'm on the fence. Obviously, I like it a lot. I don't want to return this thing, but would I use it? Does that matter? It would look really pretty sitting on my shelf and it wasn't that expensive and probably I would be able to use it because obviously it fits a lot. So I just want to do some mod shots for the coach. Troop 16, for reference, I am 5'7 and approximately 130 pounds. It's just it's such a cute little top handle. Look at that. It cannot be crook of the arms, so it kind of stops there for me, but it can be worn on the wrist depending on the thickness of your wrist and your hand, but it's kind of it's really cute. And this is it with the strap. So it can be cross-bodied. I really like it, actually. And the strap, again, has this, like, thicker piece, so it's not just digging into your shoulder with the thinner strap. <laughs> it's so cute and tiny. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I... Now that I have it in my hands, like, 
in my home. I like it more, if that makes sense. Like, I liked it in store, but I like it even more now that I own it. It's just, my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Anyway, yeah, so please, I'd love to hear your opinions on this. If you own the Troop 16, please let me know. I could find one singular video in the entirety of YouTube on this bag, like just one, that was it. So if you have this and you have an opinion, please let me know. And if you don't have this and have an opinion, still would like to hear it because I'm always open to discussing stuff like this. Now, I did just want to quickly mention, because some of you might not know this yet, but I am running a giveaway currently that goes until February 28th. It is a giveaway for this Louis Vuitton clay, the key pouch, and Damien Bean. This is a new one that I purchased specifically for the giveaway, just to thank all of my subscribers. I will link the giveaway video with the instructions on how to enter above and down below if you're interested in being part of this giveaway. And again, thank you to everybody who watches and subscribes to my videos, because you are all awesome and cool and that's really neat that you do that. And again, the giveaway runs until February 28th. If you like this video, please do give it a like because it super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe because it helps the algorithm even more. Also turn on notifications because I know my upload schedule is kind of weird. I'm still figuring out when is the best time for me to put videos out. So if you hit the notification, you'll know when I upload the videos, like as soon as I do sort of thing. So you're not just like checking once in a while to see. I don't, I don't honestly know how it works, but I've heard that it's a good idea. So if you want to do that, maybe you should. Eh. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.